Hi, I'm Lucas Mack. I'm a former TV reporter, a published author, TEDx speaker, musician, advertising agency owner, and management consultant. I'm also a former Christian preacher who dedicated 15 years of my life searching for truth and love. I've done a lot of work to heal, and I'm on a mission to see the hurting get healed and the healed go out and heal others in order for all of us to experience the true love and light we desire. This podcast is me sharing my journey with you so you don't feel alone in your journey. Welcome to the Golden Rule Revolution. Hello, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back to the Golden Rule Revolution. I hope you're doing well. There is so much, so much happening. Um, The fires, the people who have been arrested for arson who have started fires, the media censoring, uh, people angry, people afraid. The world is, the world is wild. It's like we're watching a giant movie. We're, We're watching a giant movie unfold. And perhaps many movies uh, unfold at once. But in all of this, in all of this, I am committed to bringing you beautiful souls who stand for love of all people, all people, all humanity. Remember, this whole podcast was predicated on treating people like people and nothing less. If you go back to episode one and two, which I, I was so nervous, I was reading a script. But I talk about relational relativism. When I say to each their own, what I'm saying is it's okay. Or when we say to each their own, or when you say to each their own, what we're saying is it's okay and until it affects me. But the moment it affects me, it's no longer okay. That's why saying and society has accepted this to each their own, which I understand sovereignty, which I in the highest proponent of sovereignty. But when we say to each their own, it's an abdication of treating people like people and nothing less. It's an abdication of living the golden rule, which is to love every human as we love ourselves. And the system, the Roman system that we have been living under for so long, which teaches us that we are not worthy of love. We get beat, we get hit, we, we get... Uh, hit by parents, hurt by people, all this stuff. And then we're told in the religious narrative that we're wrong, we're sinners, we're going to hell, there's brokenness, and then there's fear, there's control, there's hedging. All this system is designed to keep you and I from living in our sovereignty and receiving the love of God that we can give the love of God to others. So that is what the golden rule is about to love others as we love ourselves. And may we love ourselves and receive the love that is available for us so that we can give that love to everyone else. Now, when we are not living in that system, we see the brokenness that is produced from this and relational relativism, what I call relational relatives to <laughs> relational relativism which states, I will treat an other differently than the way I would want to be treated, always leads to conflict. Because if I don't treat you like a human being, but I treat you like a label, and your label treats me like a label, when those labels expand, there's conflict. Always, always. And that's why society is designed based on labels, skin color, gender, job, income, role, states that you live in, political parties that you vote from, uh, sports teams that you like, um, degrees that you get, occupations, music that you like. Everything is based in categories. Everything is based in labels. Everything in this Roman system is designed to divide. And when you detach from the Roman system, when you detach from the matrix, you rise above and look and say, man, we are so beautiful. Humanity is so beautiful. Black, white, red, yellow, brown. What of all the colors? We need more colors. We need more beauty, not less. 
We need to uphold life, not death. We need to uphold love, not fear. All these things is the truest nature of the beauty of humanity. And today, this episode, we get to listen to an incredibly beautiful soul from the inside and a beautiful soul on the outside. This dear sister, Rachel, who goes by Radiant Ray on Twitter. I found her on Twitter one day scrolling through um, the Twitter feed and she is such a bright light. She stood out immediately and I thought, who is this beautiful soul? This is a warrior of light. This is a light worker. This is a light warrior. And we have a conversation. It's the first time we talk is when I hit record and she jumped on. I'm so excited to bring this episode to you because if you don't get triggered, if you're able to just sit and listen to two human beings from different parts of the country, she's also from Nigeria. She comes from a different part of the world. But we can talk and listen when you hear this. And you don't get triggered with politics and and fear, but you just listen. I know this episode will bless you immensely. And that is my highest desire, brothers and sisters, that you are blessed. You are blessed with love. I bless you with love. I bless you with light. I bless you with clarity. I bless you with eyes to see and ears to hear. And as you start to awaken, yes, the Roman system will cry out. They want to control you. And the question is, when you wake up to your own sovereignty, will you allow that to happen? Or will you get right with the one infinite creator between you and the creator and say, what is my actual purpose on this earth? Why am I here? What is my purpose? And may we start with receiving the love that is available for us all. So this is a long intro. I'm fired up. And my dear sister, thank you so much for speaking truth in love. Everyone, enjoy the episode. So my beautiful and powerful sister, Rachel, (laughs) how are you? I am great. I am great. How are you? I am doing so well. I do. It is such an honor to have you on. And let me preface to everyone listening. So (laughs) I found Rachel first on Twitter. Rachel, your, your handle is Radiant Ray. You post such great stuff. And I'm like, who is this bright light? And then I found (laughs) you on Instagram. You're posting great content there. And I'm like, I I just want to have that connection and bring you on and and hear your story so thank you Uh, well thank you thank you this is uh it's amazing what what really happens when you just kind of be yourself because I was just really being myself I honestly was because I felt like um growing up I was kind of like I don't know I felt like I was in a dark place you understand what I'm saying I was in this dark place all the time growing up and I finally just kind of broke it broke out of my shell um probably about three years ago. I started to break it out my shell like three years ago. But my journey started in 2011, I want to say. And it's just been kind of like a slow process from there. Um, So where to begin? I'm just trying to figure it out. But it's it's a long story, but I'll just kind of like, so I, I didn't, I'm, I'm originally from Nigeria, number one. Wow. Yeah, I was. I came here when I was seven, seven or eight, eight years old. And um, I pretty much grew up a Georgia girl and things like that. And then I was just kind of like sheltered growing up. I had to go to church all the time and I hated mm-hmm. church and things like that. And it wasn't, it was just like those African churches and things like that where I felt that religion was like, uh, I hated religion because yeah. it's so many rules, so many this, you can't do this, you can't do that. Right. And I just kind of like went wild after like, you know, I, after high school, I just kind of like, just kind of went wild and just kind of, you know, see what the world was. I was like the prodigal daughter, I guess is mm-hmm. what you call it. Yeah. And I was just kind of lost pretty much. And then 21, I had my daughter. Wow. I had my daughter at 21 and it was just kind of like, she kind of 
brought me to like a better place but still I was like because me and her father weren't together and things like that so it was like one of those things was like eh. so so 21 I had my daughter she saved my life mm -hmm. and she made she started making me wanting to become a better woman you know but I really didn't have the proper guidance you understand what I'm saying to yeah. to yeah. be this woman and I just kind of wanted to be a mom where she kind of looked up to me so i was like okay well i could buy her nice things and do these things and things like that and so i was in nursing school during that time and wow. nursing school was one of those things where i kind of i flunked out my senior year my last year i flunked out of nursing school wow. and that broke my heart because i thought that was my um my escape you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. from yeah. family and and all the turmoil and the heartbreak and things like that and I fucked out and that really broke me. It really, it really broke me. And this was in 2011 mm -hmm. and I attempted suicide. And that was, I think the beginning of the journey, like you understand what I'm saying, where I, I was like, I don't want to be here anymore because my life is over. Everything that I worked so hard for, you know, was just kind of stripped away from me. And I was like, oh. yeah. but you know, I saw the light. I was there at the light. Yeah. And they're like, it's not your time. And I'm like, I'm not going back. You can't make me go back. <laughs> I don't have nothing. I have nothing left here. Like, mm -hmm. they're like, no, you still have a lot more to do. And I'm like, a lot more to do. And next thing I know, I'm back in my body and my parents and my siblings are looking at me. And I'm like, damn, I can't even you know, I can't even successfully even do this kill right. myself. Yes. <laughs> this, I had the same thing. I, I attempted suicide at the age of 20 wow. and felt, I felt I, the same thing. Like, it's a wow. weird thing. I couldn't even get that right. Right. So I understand that. It's Right. <laughs> so it was one of those things where it's like, I guess that's where our light came from. Huh? Wow. Yeah. We, right. saw, we saw the light and the light Ooh, came. I got chills. So yes. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I was, um, was it 2011? I don't even know. How, I'm 35 now. So um, I was probably, I was 20, 27, I think during the time when, when it happened or yeah. I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm terrible in math, yeah, but yeah. yeah, so the, the, the journey kind of pretty much started and, you know, I started, you know, looking at going to church more. I started, you know, just trying to find a different church, just trying to find where I fit in, in that, in that sense. But I, I didn't even fit in, in a regular church. Cause I guess my, this, the, the light that was inside of me was just too much for it. Cause they would always find something. There's like, they'll be like, I don't know. There's, there's something wrong with her. Like, you understand what I'm saying? They'll always be, and I always thought that there was something wrong with me. And I would just be like, I don't know what it is. Like, I just cannot keep certain people around me and certain energies. I just can't like, it's always like a, a, a tug or I have to like, just kind of leave places like that. Mm. And, you know, I started finding, so I started reading different types of religions. I started trying to figure out, you know, who God is for myself. So, you know, it was just one of those things. And then I fell off the wagon in 2014, 2015, and I kind of fell off the wagon. I was like, this church stuff, this religious stuff is not for me. Let me, go, let me try to, let me go back to the world and see. <laughs> 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 and see oh, and see what it was about and I was like you know and I guess God was like no mm -mm. the the world the world has nothing for you so mm -hmm. you're gonna have to just kind of so everybody that I kind of used to hang out with was kind of like uh like you know they were they it was like a like a like friction it just kept it wouldn't work out like they just kind of we would fall out over stupid stuff I would mm -hmm. get in arguments just really retarded things and I was just like okay so and then I ended up meeting my husband <laughs> in church one night wow <laughs> it was crazy it was like, like a, a a night vigil this was 2015 I'm just kind of mm -hmm. like speeding through the story or whatever yeah. yeah and 2015 I meet my husband and he's just this he's older than me he's like 10 years older than me so the spirit is just so weird how I was and you know I was still kind of in the world at then and indulgent in 
edibles. Yeah, I yeah. was kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and some of that time, plant medicine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in church. So don't judge me, okay? That, and no, it was just like, the, it was like, that's your husband. And I'm like, my husband? Yeah, I'm like, this old man is probably married somewhere. He probably got a whole bunch of kids somewhere. I'm not worried. <laughs> and the spirit was like, yeah, that's your husband. Mm. And fast forward, like, he, we're here. And he, he, pre- he helped me a lot. When it comes to, you know, being patient and my anger and things like that, he helped me blossom a lot more than what I was because he's, he's, he grew up in the church. He grew up in the church. So he's, he's like very, he's prayerful. He knows how to pray. He taught me how to pray because before he used to be like, let's pray. And I'd be like, I don't know what to say. I can't pray out loud. I just kind of know how to pray in my heart. I don't know how to pray, but now it's like, okay, well, let's pray. So I'm praying and stuff like now. So it's just been, it's been a journey. And, and now I'm here and talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Here we are, sister. Oh. And now I'm here. Man, that's... <laughs> I and love- I, oh, and now I have two two boys, a three year old and a one year old. So I have a thirteen year old, mm. a three year old, and a one year old. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Congratulations, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. And Thank to them you. too for getting a mom that that's wise and gone through that. Thank you. Thank you, sis. There's so much. Um, <laughs> there's so much. So let's talk about. Well, why did your parents or why did you move from Nigeria to the United States? What what was that catalyst? Um, my dad, because he was, I don't know why. Like, I guess my dad just kind of felt like it was time to go because he was working. He worked at British Airways, you know, oh, during yeah. the time in Nigeria. So I'm like, he was making a lot of money. So I don't understand why the heck he would leave all of that, you know, and move to a whole nother place and things like that. So he just, he said he wanted a better life for his kids. He wanted a better life, you know, for himself. He just, beautiful. and he started from scratch. Like I watched my dad go from a pizza delivery guy wow. to, to being a computer engineer at at t So it was like one of those things where it was like, wow. it, it, he, he, he taught me hard work. He really did. He did. He did. But you know, all of, the things that happened throughout the journey and things like that we're kind of like on a a rocky so there's no kind of like talking I, I i miss the man you know but you did know he pa- and did he pass away? no 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 oh, just oh. being a trump supporter and all of this oh, stuff, yeah. like, ah. so he's like we'll get, yeah. we'll get into we'll get into all this sis. i love it i love it well um so, so. i'm pretty much dead to everybody else because of isn't that, all of that. Isn't that it's crazy it's so crazy it's so it's crazy. crazy. It's so mm-hmm. sad. Mm-hmm. It's so mm-hmm. sad. This world of mm-hmm. anger, this world yes. of unhealed yeah. trauma, this world yeah. of um, fear of, yeah. of differences. So and, much. Yes. You know, I tell, so you and I, although different stories, similar mm-hmm. in in very in, uh, ways, in, yeah. in many ways and i grew up yeah. in the church and we're warriors we're radiant warriors we, we are warriors are. we are we warriors, are warriors. When i saw we you are Mike, warriors we are warriors there's no job i was like yeah. clear yeah. like got it yeah. this is a sister right we, here. we are we are warriors <clears throat> we are i got chills we are, off on you. <laughs> we are giants there, hmm. there's there's we are warriors we really yeah. are we are we are, and now we're remembering what we're here for, what yeah. we're, what we, what we signed up for. For you understand That's what I'm saying? Right. We're here yes. for a purpose, and we're yes. here. We're awakening souls, whether we like it or not, whether they understand it or not. They may hate us because we're awakening them, but at the same time, you're we're doing you a favor. But you you don't see it yet, but at the same time, you're gonna understand it later. It's just kind of like waking up your kids to go to school. You're like yeah. they get kind of cranky and they're groggy and they're like, <laughs> oh, I don't want to get up. No, right. don't you make. But when they're up, they're up, and, they're and up. that that's what it is. That's right. So that's we're okay. warriors. <laughs> you know the. the uh, where do I start with this? Like even Genesis. 
I, I talk about this all the time because I was a preacher mm-hmm. for a long time. I've done, you know, oh, wow. now I'm like, but now I'm, I, I did a podcast in January mm-hmm. why I left Christianity to find the love of God. Yeah. Um, and I love yes. God. I mean, yes. I love the Lord. I, I love yes. scripture. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> coming out of that dogmatic, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. really fear based control oh, yes. narrative yes. to wake up and say, if God is love, mm-hmm. if God is light and in him there's no darkness at all, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then where can I go? David wrote, where can I go? Oh Lord, where, where? you're not there. If I go to the depth yes. of hell, there you are. If I go, there you God are. is yes. work everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. And yes. the church teaches don't go where God's not or hedge. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. like, keep yourself. Don't do this. Don't yeah. do that. If you do this, you're going to hell. Right. <laughs> right, right. And, and that is, um, it's so interesting. We're at this time right now where, I, going back to Genesis 1 1, it's in the beginning, God mm-hmm. created the heaven and the earth, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the earth was without form and the void. World, well, Darkness yeah. was upon the face of the yeah. earth. And we are at this time again where we are bringing forth the light. And I yeah. think it's the greatest gift because had we not known darkness, right. we, we couldn't wouldn't really yeah. know that light. Exactly. And that's what exactly. the world's waking up to. We, exactly. We, oh. Exactly. I think you, wait, did you just share um, the glow stick? I think I was just reading. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Just, <laughs> right before I'm all done. And that's such a great analogy. Yeah. It's like a mm-hmm. false light that it, cannot yeah. kindle another mm-hmm. light. Yep. Yeah. It came to me. I was just kind of sitting there and I was like, there's so many glow sticks. Like, I don't know. Like, I saw, because I see these visions. It's so weird. Like, I just, mm-hmm. I sit there sometimes and then I'll just get a flash or, or like, I'll just lay there. And, and I do this a lot with some of my friends. I'll be like, I saw you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? And sometimes, mm-hmm. like, I'll be, like, because we have, a, a, like, a mountain, like, Stone Mountain Park. And a couple of weeks ago, I was, I was, like, led to go up there for seven days. Like, just, you know, just go up. And it was a journey. Like, it, I was tired. But every single day I went up there, there was somebody that needed to hear a message. And it was always in a different spot that I would be like, okay, you know, where is it that I, so the spirit would be like, okay, no, don't go here today. Go over there today. And every single time there would be somebody that needed to hear something. And so I've kind of learned to kind of tune in and just kind of align myself. I don't know how, I don't know how it happened. I just don't know. I just kind of, I let myself go. I let all my deepest, darkest secrets out. So there's nothing that that I'm afraid of anymore. I'm not afraid of anything. People don't scare me no more. My deepest mm-hmm. secrets don't scare me no more. There's nothing that I'm afraid of. So anything, so I let that go. And I felt that that was the greatest. And this was, this was about, um, probably about three months ago that I finally just kind of let all of my fears just kind of dissolve. And I was like, okay, screw it. I'm not scared anymore. Whatever it is, whatever it is, I'm not afraid. And that was when I felt that was when that burst of light just really just kind of like it really just kind of exploded after I just said, screw it. And it, it's just been a, one of those beautiful things. But um, back to the glow stick, it was like I just saw the flash of glow stick and I was like, and I heard the voice and it was like, can this glow stick light up a candle? And I was like, no, mm. like, you know, in the spirit realm, I was like, no. Yeah. And then I saw a flame and it was like, can this flame light this candle? And I was like, yeah, it can light a, lot, a hell of a whole lot more too. If you <laughs> let it. <laughs> and they were like, right. And they're like, in, in, in this world, there's so many fake awakened people out here that they just have the light within them, but they can't share it. They, they know that they, they have this false light. They have this false sense of light. Mm-hmm. And it's not, there's nothing, there's nothing that they can do for others. They're just showing you that they have a light, but they 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 can't they can't help another person. But there's this flame, there's this fire in you that whatever you touch, whatever it is that you that you encounter, they will have a piece of that flame. That flame that you have will end up kindling whatever it is that's inside of them mm-hmm. so be not afraid don't be afraid of anything don't be afraid of anybody and 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 i'm learning that and that's when i, I put that i was like yeah, 
hell yeah, I'll be a flame. I will light this sucker up. You hear me? I love it. That's right. <laughs> and if we have to, we'll burn this down. We will burn this sucker down. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Oh. But it, it's just, it's, it's been mm. beautiful. It really, it truly has been beautiful. And it's just been, it's been an amazing journey. I never thought I'd be here. I never did. I never thought in a million years, if someone would have told me that I'd be where I am right now, you understand what I'm saying? And, and in my, I loved money. I loved money. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. I loved oh, yeah. everything that was, that, that was new in style. I loved it. I wanted it. I had to work. I had to get it. And to be put in a position where, you know, it, it, it's, it's enough for us to get by because I'm not working. I'm a stay at home mom at this time. Yeah. And my husband is the only one working. So it's like, you know, when we have enough to pay our bills and, and, and you know, get, whatever it is that we need there's not there's no money left over for any luxury there's no money left over for anything like that and i'm happy with that at first i was it used to piss me off it used to yeah, piss yeah. me off Lucas. Yeah. i used to be like why can't i just work but that now i'm understanding i'm not working for a reason because my children need me at this time they need that they need that their mother here they need especially my 13 year old like if i'm busy hitting the street working 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 who's going to talk to her or who's going to teach her these things who's going to tell her what it is that's going to then tv got to raise her or right. some other her friends got to be the one to to tell her a bunch of bs that's, that their parents is telling them and i see it and i've seen it a lot hmm. a lot so it's just one of those that's things so, where i'm grateful <laughs> yeah to, to have that gratitude and also mm -hmm. it's um i was talking to someone earlier in the day, I hadn't talked to them in a while. And they said, I, they asked how I'm doing. I said, truly, it's been euphoric. I, I'm with mm -hmm. my wife. I have three kids. I hear oh, them. Beautiful. I, I yeah. hear them playing my wife. So, I mean, this has been yeah. um, really beautiful. And mm -hmm. she said, well, I, I just can't wait till November. We get a new president. And I said, oh, well, you're gonna I said, <laughs> You know, I would prepare, I was real gentle. I said, I would prepare now for that not to happen. She's right. like, really? What? I said, I, I would yeah. prepare for a landslide. Right. It's going like, to be a landslide. Oh, sis, it's, oh, it's really, it's, it's wild. And it's, what I am seeing right now with so many people is, well, the, stati the statistics for the American Revolution, I see mm -hmm. as, as the same reality now where, only 8% of the colonists um, fought in the American Revolution, mm -hmm. which was, um, which was, uh, I'm sorry, there was 3% of the colonists who actually fought. 8% wow. were pro the American Revolution. So wow. it was like a bell curve that mm -hmm. the middle kind of stay neutral and they're going to, mm -hmm. and then the Tories, the 20% that were anti mm -hmm. the American Revolution that mm -hmm. were loyal, they moved to toronto and mm -hmm. toronto was basically the new york of the wow. colonies but the people that stayed in the middle mm -hmm. benefited from those three percent oh yeah oh right? yeah that is what's happening again mm -hmm. I was talking to someone last mm -hmm. night and said look i will stand for everyone's freedom oh yeah everyone's oh, freedom yeah. oh yes but there's many who won't stand for oh, my yes. freedom, even though exactly. I would stand for that freedom. I exactly. said, don't you see the, mm -hmm. the backward thinking of this? Yeah. And people are, you know, haughty spirit goes before a fall. You know, pride. Oh goes yeah. Before oh spirit, yeah. Pride. Yes. Before a fall. Yes. And we are about to see this age of ego and pride. Oh, and, yes. And oh, yes. Light. Oh, yes. It's getting removed. Oh, yes, it is. It truly is. And the humility that we will need to love those people, just yes. love them, just love. We're, and they yes. are, are going to experience mm -hmm. humility. I mean, it's cognitive oh, yeah. dissonance like nobody's it is. business like right no now. Other, like no other. Like, like, come on, seriously. Uh, like, come on, like come no on. Other. You are you serious? Are you? You got to be. You got to be joking. I just posted something because I was a TV reporter, so I mm. I know a lot of the national. Oh, cool. um, and there's some really good. Like I have some really good friends um, mm. in national media, but they're not the 
they're not the ones that we all know that, that the turkeys, we know. That, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, <clears throat> but they will never rise the ranks because these mm-hmm. people that are controlling. I mean, they've risen the ranks. Like a good friend is the Good Morning mm-hmm. America anchor on the weekends. And, oh wow! And they're like really awesome people. Mm-hmm. But there, there's this level of media that is so blatantly evil and vitriolic and viscerally hating of the light and hating the word love and hate. But they can't stop it. They They can't can't stop it. You can't, who are you to stop God? You can't stop God. You cannot stop the creator of all creations. There's Mm -hmm. nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. You can't stop him. He's, he's, he's very patient. That's the one thing that I know about God. God is a bitch. He will watch you. And he'll be like, okay, you know, just keep on going. We'll give you time to repent. Let you get your free will on and do whatever it is (laughs) that you got to do. That's right. That's right. But, These, uh, I have, I have love, joy, peace, long suffering, goodness, strength, uh, faith, temperance, meekness right here behind me. And that long suffering to suffer long, oh. God, God is love suffers long, right? Yeah. I mean, love will go as long as it needs for yeah. as long. And God is yeah. in this time. You're right. He's, he's patient. He's mm-hmm. patient. Very He's giving, he's giving them time to just kind of like, maybe they'll have a change of heart. Maybe they'll have a change of heart, you know, because Mm -hmm. that's that free will thing. Like, you know, he gives you the long rope. That's what, that's what the Africans, they're like, you get the long rope, but once Mm -hmm. you get to the end of that rope, that's it. And there's, there's, there's no more after that. So it's either you repent and you, you know what I'm saying? And you're forgiven, or you just kind of walk yourself off the ledge. Mm. And that's just what it is. That's yeah. just, that's that's the God that we serve. That's the creator. <laughs> that's our creator. That's just him. Yeah. But they have a chance. They have a chance to to change their mind. They have a chance to to repent. They have a chance to go back, you know, to get yeah. things right. But a lot of people aren't gonna choose that because that ego, that 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 pride right. is just that too lack much. Lack of it's humility. Yes. Yeah. My wife was too saying much. People are now looking for anything to back up what they even know is wrong, just so they don't have to admit they're wrong. Exactly. It's exactly. so interesting. It's, it's so interesting. It's, it's crazy. How? It's crazy. Let's let's talk about. I mean, I would. I'm really curious about your awakening, even with like politically, and how that all came. Because how I'm sure, I got here. Yeah. How'd you get? How'd you get here? Where you're. <laughs> you're you're shut out essentially i'm pro trump exactly they're yeah. like how how the hell did you get this was um february i want to say mm. that the light just kind of i don't know i stumbled upon uh the q wake up yeah. um, instagram yeah and i i, I just happened to just kind of stumble upon it and i just kind of started you know scrolling through the feed and I was like, hmm, this is really interesting. Like, wow, this might be real. And then it ended up just kind of like starting to talk about how Democrats and the Republicans and things like that. And yep, because this was your Black History Month because mm-hmm. February, no, but they didn't really celebrate right. it. Right. And it was how the how black people were Republicans. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I never <laughs> All these times I was in, oh. in, in this country, I never knew that. Like, yeah. I didn't know who, who, how many Black people were in the Republicans. They never taught us that. They never right. taught us that during Black History Month. They never right. taught us any of that stuff. So I was like, so I started telling some friends, like, did y'all know that um, some Black, like, the Black people were inside the the, the Republicans? They were like, no, right. but they switched parties. That was where they, they were like, Always. They, I was Always. like so yeah. I, I read that and I was like, no, they did not. So I kind of kept it to myself for a while and I started doing more research and then I started reading about what Trump did and things like that. President Trump did. And I was like, I didn't know he did all of this stuff. Like I was just reading and I was like, wow. And then I started reading his story and his like, and then I started following Melania and I was like, oh my goodness. Like, cause I never really, and I was like, she, she is gorgeous. And then like, I don't know why. And then I stumbled upon the Palladians. Like it was so weird. Like I was just like, (laughs) I was like, okay, well, this might be. It was full on wake up. It was full on wake up. It was a full on. So I started going down this. It was this rabbit hole. Then I ended up on Frazzle Drip. Then I ended up. Oh, yeah. That's. 
So, and then Pizzagate came up yeah. and now, and then I saw how much, how um, President Trump was fighting human trafficking and things like that. And I was yes. like, how did I not know these things? Like how, right. how deep asleep was I, number right. one? Right. And, and how the heck, so then I started like just throwing little nuggets out there for like on my page or like on, cause I, I, I kind of saved um, Facebook for last. Yeah. So when I started getting a little more comfortable, this was like probably like April, I started throwing like nuggets like on Instagram and people were like, you're going crazy. Something's mm -hmm. wrong with you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's nothing wrong with me. Like, Trump, like y'all really need to go read what President Trump has done. Like y'all yes. really need to go read what this man has done. And there's a lot of black people in the Republican Party. There's a lot of like our little bubble is not you know what I'm saying? It's it's not it's not where it's at. There's a lot of black pro Trump people out here. There's a lot. And you guys are just kind of looking at you know what I'm saying, life in this bubble that we're in. Cause I live yeah. in an all black area. Like I live yeah. in Stone Mountain, Georgia. So it's kind of pretty much like a democratic town. Yeah. A democratic that's it's, where it's you guys just, had that army show up. Right. The, yeah. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Yeah. So but I was I, like, I used to tell people, you know, I was like, um it as I'm like, you know, the white uh, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas? And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, wait, he's not white. He's not white. Oh, wait, the very first this black Supreme Court Justice is a Republican. Oh, but that doesn't count. Uh, no. Thomas Sowell. They, they call you the a most coon. Oh, yeah. They're a coon. They, they, you a coon now because you over here, you want to pander to the white man. You want to say it's not about black and white no more. It's about good versus evil. About I'm not with that whole color. love versus fear. This is about hate versus <laughs> apathy. This is about liberation of all souls versus. This man this, is, oh. was put here to save everybody. He was man. put here to save souls i said because i voted for hillary i did and that was the biggest i and, and i regret that <laughs> like i was like i cannot believe i gave this evil wench my vote like i wish i could take my vote back i honestly do like, okay. I, was like I cannot believe i voted for her mm -hmm. but that was because i was kind of like lost but my husband was like i'm voting for trump mm -hmm. and i was like oh like why like I, you know just kind of still stuck in that bubble and he was like i'm voting for trump like that's what he kept saying and i was like mm. why like you don't know i because i was going by what the the media was saying he yeah. hates black people he yeah. hates africans he hates foreigners and things like that and you being a foreigner how can you but reading i was like this man does not hate nobody that's he right. just tells it he tells it like it is he yeah. tells it how it is he has no filter he just he's like that that old uncle that doesn't give that doesn't care yeah. what the hell you right mean. like take it or leave it He's this is tell, what it is tell you yeah. the truth. this is That's what right. it is yes yes Man, but. it's so interesting where even last night i was with uh two buddies and we were talking about trump and i said have you watched him truly i have not i've only missed one of his mm -hmm. press conferences or speeches mm -hmm. once since uh, yeah. march 12th because yeah. I, I work from home, so I'm able to like mm -hmm. play it or I'll pause it and I and watch it later. It. Mm -hmm. and, and it was when I first started watching, I think it was like day two. Um, and I'm watching him and the media was just, I mean, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to fight the media. Like, <laughs> man, if you talk to me like that, I would attack you. That is so crazy. And mm -hmm. he just stood there and he, he takes it calm mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. he calm. And then right after it hung up, the very first headline that came out got pushed is Trump like loses it on the media. And I'm like, what? That was How? my because I didn't vote for him. I wasn't wow. a I wasn't a Trump supporter. Mm -hmm. um, Me and when I saw that what I experienced with my own two eyes, mm -hmm. my own experience listening mm -hmm. to the man, watching mm -hmm. how he was treated, mm -hmm. and I felt angry. And mm -hmm. then the article came out of, or the headline that he That's lost so in life. Crazy. And that was what I, I was like, wait, what? what? So then I went back, I started looking and, and I was already, I've been, so I had the, uh, right here is the great awakening map. And mm -hmm. I've had the guy who created that on a couple of times. And I've been, my awakening is through the religious control of yeah. the world like daniel has a prophecy of four kingdoms that rule the earth and we're still in the roman kingdom this is still yeah, yeah. rome's this is yeah. still rome rome yeah, yeah and and i 
And so Rome is falling. The kingdom of Rome is rolling. And when the Messiah comes, the Mashiach comes, the anointed one, the, the age of liberation, the age of freedom, the age of the lion lays with the lamb, that, you know, all this is coming. It's, it is coming. It is here. And in the Hopi it's Indians here. prophesied of 144 rainbow warriors, just as John mm-hmm. on the island of Patmos writes yeah. 144 mm-hmm. virgins mm-hmm. and people. Yeah. And the church says, well, that's sexual, you know, virgin. No, those are people that mm-hmm. kept their heart pure. Okay. Yes. Fear yes. from judgment, yes. from yes. control, from yes. subversion, yes. from mm-hmm. looking at color as nothing but yes. anything beautiful. Yes. I don't, mm-hmm. This is what I don't understand. Why would we not want more colors of the rainbow, exactly. more colors Thank of you. the skin, Thank more you. colors. Thank the rainbow you. is not one color. Thank and we think, oh, there's, it's, there's, there's a rainbow. There's the bow, you know, no, it's the, it's, I, I cannot fathom the, the true lack of love of humanity. Oh, yeah. When I hear oh, these yeah. people talk from all these, I'm like, what, what? so beautiful we are so yes. beautiful yes. the indian the asian the, the black yeah oh, yes. just like i just like so many. oh i see yes it's beautiful it's what very is, beautiful it's so mm-hmm. beautiful mm-hmm. and that is the greatest i think robbery of our own um community experience when we mm-hmm. isolate ourselves so yes much. that's the word like, man mm-hmm. uh, oh. <laughs> Oh. I got it. Someone's going, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, this, um, yeah, buddy. Oh, so <laughs> cute. Welcome, bud. <laughs> oh, I have so much fun. Sis, I mean, I, um, Oh, what I was saying of Rome waking up, like I've always been, um, I grew up abused, grew up in this oh, yeah. hardcore religious family, grew mm-hmm. up with the veneer of, they could say, God bless you. And everyone like, Oh, oh but then yeah. right when those doors close, it's a different thing. Cuss you out. Exactly. You know, Get, slap you upside the head. Yeah, all sorts. Hit you yeah. With, yeah. Uh, cuss but, you out. But know how to say God bless you or can mm-hmm. sing, mm-hmm. you know, can sing whatever song. Mm-hmm. So I was early on just driven, like really angry. What is the system? And, and yeah. the word forgiveness was really a weapon where it's saying yep. to the victim, do you accept what the victor did to you? Yep. The and you're like, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I forgive I you. Guess. Versus like, you know, mm-hmm. all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So as I've been, the great awakening map was great because it tied so many things together, it tied mm-hmm. the Vatican. It tied, you know, Q said 12 times Godfather three yeah. and Godfather three is about the Vatican banking system being the greatest cartel mm-hmm. on the earth and, and all this stuff. And then, um, uh, Francis Ford Coppola just announced that there's going to be a new ending of Godfather three released oh, wow. in the theaters in December, a new edited mm-hmm. ending. Yeah. And I'm like, this stuff is, you can't get this so up. <laughs> it is so cool. We are living in the most incredible and time. So and I told my friend, I said, I feel like we're living in one big inside joke and you have to be in on the <laughs> joke to understand what's going on. That's a good way like, to say it. Yeah. You, you, like, that's how we really, like, you have to be in on it to understand yes. what's really going on. And, yes. and I'm glad to be a part of it because I, I just don't want to be out. I'm glad that I'm not out here looking stupid. Like, I really yeah. am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, it's, I'm so glad. It's so it's, beautiful. It's so it is, beautiful. It's, it it's is beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. It's one of those things. Cause um, it's so weird. Cause I had been, this was like recently, this probably like a couple months. Like I find myself in battle, mm. like dreaming and things like that. And I would wake up and my body would be so sore or I'd just mm. be so tired that I can't, I can't function. Like I just can't. And my kids would be like, mommy, mommy, mommy. And I'm like, oh, yeah. but like I would be in this battle and we would like literally feel fighting off these nasty evil little like they were just disgusting and I would remember these dreams and I'd be like oh my goodness this is so this felt so real Mm -hmm. and then I I I ran up on a post and they were like yeah this is pretty much what you're doing this is you you said like you're you're a warrior like that's right and I was just like wow and then there was one post that I um I remember I kind of posted it on Twitter that I had watched this woman like um I just I just end up stumbling on these these people and she was talking about how you know they're like they're people who who just kind of like 
uh, feel all the energies and things like that and they, they channel and they're able to use their their mind and their their like to, to just kind of move into another realm and I just kind of dozed off for a little bit mm. and I found myself in this dark it was like this dark tunnel it was just mm. so dark in there but I can feel all these kids around me like I felt these kids around me and then I find and I scream like really loud and my body like lit up like lit up with like this it was just I was just like a light and I see all these kids and the mm. kids run towards me. They were running towards me and I felt them like really holding me. And like, I felt them touching me and I was like, mm. you understand what I'm saying? And they, they were just kind of, kind of like hugging me. And then, so I, we ended up in another realm and I, it was this beautiful place. It was like mountains, waterfalls, trees, mm. like just, it was so beautiful. And I see this light, like this bright light come down and and like I could see I knew it was Jesus because I just kind of mm-hmm. felt that it was him but I couldn't see his face because his face was so bright like I couldn't look I couldn't make out what his face looked like yeah. and the kids ran to him in, in that in that vision or whatever it was that I felt and he he was like the children are safe and that's what he said and I like got up out of that but I just my body was just so I was just like, wow, how the heck did I get here? I don't know. But it felt like I was just kind of ripped out from my body and my like it it was like an out of body experience. It, it was it was beautiful, but then at the same time I was like, Whoa, how did I get there? Like it was so amazing. Like I sometimes I'll just sit here and I'll just find myself kicking somebody. Like not somebody, but like a like a a nasty little worm or something like that that's trying to mess with my yeah. kids or like just something or it, it's just, it's weird. Yeah, it, <laughs> that's a good way to say it. It's, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's I was going to say it's beautiful. It's weird. It is, I understand. It it's But it's, it's different like, than what has been. But it's yes, beautiful yes. that it is now. Yes. yes. It is. Yes. It is. And like when I when I'm prophesy to people, I'll be like, I know you, like this is how I lead off. I know you're going to think I'm weird or one of them crazy. Like, like that's how I kind of start off. But yeah. The spirit told me to tell you that you, you and and that's just kind of how how I just kind of mm-hmm. you know leave it at that. But it, you, uh, there you have angels like in behind you, you you do. There are these angels and they have the there's one over there to your right and there's one over there to your left and they have this sword like just kind of like facing downwards and they're just standing there right now. That's just those are your your angels. I don't and it's 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 beautiful. It's, they're beautiful and they're just there they're there with you and they're always there and that's who you have to call you they're there they're fighting for you they're fighting with you and you have to you're a warrior you really are you you you're you you go in these battles and you feel that you you're not doing enough but you really are you're doing more than you think that you're doing you're doing way more than you think you're doing way more than you see that you're doing and sometimes we don't see it all we don't see it all we don't see all of it you know because sometimes he'll show us and sometimes he won't because he does not want us to get to that place where he where we're like yeah i you understand what yeah, i'm saying yeah yeah but he, you, you 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 do you do you do a lot more and you don't understand how i don't know you're helping me right now you really are because you're 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 giving me this platform to use my voice that i've never Mm. been able to use before like because i just kind of felt like i've been mute and wow it's beautiful for me to actually just kind of express this on a platform like this and i really thank you and i really appreciate you for that You, you have no idea and i know that God is going to bless you tremendously. There's many, 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 many more blessings coming your way in your family and your children and your children's children and their children's children will be blessed from generations and more generations to come. So I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I do. Thank you. Oh, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I receive you. all that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for... Thank you for opening your eyes. That that is, he was eyes to see. He was ears to hear. They, he or she, we who have eyes to see. You know, we who have eyes to see. And 
thank you for seeing because I saw you and I just thought, wow, wow. Thank you for opening your eyes and seeing yeah, me for, right. thank you. Because a, a lot of people see me and they just kind of look past me, you know, mm -hmm. and I guess it might be the, the where I'm surrounding myself with or who I'm surrounding myself with. Because for so long, I've just kind of felt unseen and I had to just, but I've learned to just kind of like just now I'm just kind of going with the flow, going with the yeah. spirit, whatever the spirit is telling me is what I'm doing. So, and you came right on time when you sent me that message because I was like, so cool. I don't, you, you did. You really did. And I was like, wow, little old me. Wow. What, like, it's, I thank you. I really do. I do. I do. I do. The, the children, the children. Mm -hmm. they're safe that is such a they, the children are safe the children are safe yeah i have seen since i was a little uh man i could get choked up right now you um man, we don't want it the, the world you know true religion james says mm -hmm. pure religion is to take care of the fatherless mm -hmm. and the widows the children mm -hmm. the children mm -hmm. And we hear these stories of these priests, and it's not just in Catholicism, it's in every mm -hmm. area. It's, every, of, everywhere. Of, it's everywhere. But we see, we hear about the systemic, mm -hmm. we want to talk about systemic anything, it's systemic abuse and, and, <laughs> and, and, and uh, torture. It's and just nasty. Stuff. Nastiness <laughs> stuff. And these poor babies, they grow up mm -hmm. with so much shame, and then it's tied in with this eternal narrative of mm -hmm. heaven and hell it's it's the complete mm -hmm. impurification of the soul is what happens mm -hmm. to these babies yeah. and to hear that they're safe i've had these visions ever since i was a little boy that stadiums were filled stadium i mm -hmm. mean ar arena stadiums and as soon as you walk into the entrance, you are in the presence of God. You, everyone mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. in the presence of God and, yeah. and people are coming down and it's instead of altar calls, it is, if you want to be healed, just come. Yes, just come. If you're a perpetrator, yes. come, yes. come. We will yes. stand with you. If you, yes. we will love you. We will lock arms. Come, just come. <laughs> It's here. The time is now. The time is now. People don't realize it, but it's the time is here. We're here. We're here to do these. We're, we're here to, to heal. We're here to awaken. We're here for this purpose. We're here and awaken at this time for this specific purpose. We, a lot of us don't know, you, you understand what I'm saying? And yeah. cause I, I didn't know I was just kind of doing whatever it is that I thought I was doing. Yeah. And you know, as the day goes by, you just kind of like, okay, I know my purpose, mm. but how do I get there? And God is like, don't worry about how the, how just, just know where mm. you're going. Don't worry about the, how just keep doing what I'm telling you to do. Stop. And cause I, I always worry about how, well, how am I going to, well, yeah. what, like yeah. he, he's like, don't worry about that. Just listen, listen. And that's just, that's just what it is. And I tell people, just listen, follow that heart. We have that inner GPS, follow it. That's you, right. you, want, you, right. you listen to your GPS telling you to turn right, turn left, that's listen right. to that inner voice. That's your GPS. If it tells you to go right and you go left, that's on you. And you're probably going to have to reroute and it's going to take you a different direction, uh -huh. but you're still going to have to keep following and you have to keep going. You have to keep, don't stop listening. Don't, you can't, you really can't. Mm -hmm. We're here for a purpose, Lucas. And I'm 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 grateful for your platform. I really and truly awesome. am. I love I love your your um your little memes and things like that. I share it. <laughs> so. I, I, I I love all of those things that oh, you share. And I'm like this this so man sure. is really speaking to me right now. Mm. And I, I just like you just you 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 really did resonate with me. And it's just Thank it's you. it's it's beautiful. It really is. It's mm. so beautiful. The, the light is beautiful. This love is beautiful. I've never felt so much love from strangers before. I've never felt, I never felt this love in my own family, in my own, like with my kids and my husband, yes, but with yeah. my siblings or anything like that, I've never felt this much love before. Mm -hmm. I've never, I never knew love. It's, it, it might sound cliche, but I never knew 
that strangers could love you so much like this. I mm. never knew, I never really knew a love like this until after, until I really began this journey with, with, with yes. God. I, yes. I never knew. I yes. never knew. I just always thought that it was just love was just so cliche. Love is just a four yeah. letter word. Love yeah. was not real. Like right. fake is so is because there's so many people just faking this love that they right. don't know what genuine love is. Right. And 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 it's I, now I'm like I want to share. I want to hug everybody. Yeah, hey, that's right. Like, that's right. Like <laughs> come here. Like let me. <laughs> I want to hug you. I'm a hugger. Like yeah. If, when I meet people, they want to shake hands. I'm hugging. Like That's I'm sorry. So I don't, good. Let's just hug and all this social distancing stuff and all of that. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm a hugger. This is taking so much more out of me. Yes. And I, like, it's taking like I, I'm not with the whole distancing. I'm gonna yeah. stand right next to you. I'm gonna hug That's you. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you in your face. Um, I'm not. That's just me. Like I just I felt so like I was like, uh-uh. I can't deal with this and I'm not going to make my children even do this. But my kids don't even know what a mask is. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> same. <laughs> oh. My, 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 my one-year-old gets scared when we go out and people are wearing and they're coming close to him and he just, he was like, yeah. he'll bolt like the other direction or he'll hide behind me. Yes. So it's just like, it's, it's, mm-mm. yeah. I was yeah. like, I just, I can't do it. Mm-mm. It's not for me. Hmm. but i'm just i'm so grateful i'm so oh, grateful for this this is, this is so beautiful i i was just telling my wife earlier today i have a, you you're in georgia um i had an interview i did a podcast this morning with um a gal Beagle, my sister our sister mm-hmm. you will just love oh. this beautiful white bean uh she's in toronto champ oh, who started wow. the great awakening map he's in thailand wow. Uh, all, we're all over the world. Yeah, all right? over. We're we are seasoning. Yes. We are seasoning. We are we truly are the salt of yes. the earth. Of the, yes, yes. And it is spread out right now all over the world. Yes. And it's interesting. I've never felt more connected to people. Yes. Like I'd just hang with you. Right. I'd hang with your exactly. family. We'd exactly. Dinner together. And exactly. It's, oh. it's and beautiful. we will. Really and we will. And we will. Oh, I yes. know we will. Oh yes. Oh yes. We will. Oh yes. Oh yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because this is this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Like they wanted the internet to be used for something else, but it's bringing people together more yes. than ever before. Yes. More than ever before. This is amazing. You got family. You got new family all over the world. You got yes. new friends all over the world. You're meeting other light warriors. You're meeting yes. all other light workers. You're just connecting, and it's just like this is why. And and I, I just started really following the Schumann resi- resonance, yes. and I Isn't just look at those. Incredible? burst and i'm just like whoa look at this. And, <laughs> or it was and, offline for so long all of a sudden or it was glitchy or whatever it was doing yeah, and all of a sudden and you just see those boom, 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 boom. Yes. Like, wow and I, and i feel it sometimes because some days i was like oh the energy is up i'm up and then some days i'm like oh i'm yes. exhausted yes yes <laughs> it is so, so cool and, and i want to share that um as all this gets revealed science is proving what the knowing already is exactly. you know the science exactly. is proving so as people are starting to wake up to the human resonance the showing mm-hmm. how actually the earth yes. is birthing itself yes. and yes. growing yes. and we're all part of this journey yes. it is so it's so it's beautiful it is it's just beautiful this is the time mm-hmm. of beauty being birthed yes. into the world yes. and yes those that are hurting and those that are confused and, and anyone, I don't know if, I don't know who's left listening to this that is not uh, woke and, and on right. the path of love and light. But if you're still confused of Donald Trump and, um, and, and this whole great awakening, I will tell you growing up with the narcissist who is charming and charismatic and everyone loved it's mm-hmm. not what people say mm-hmm. it's what mm-hmm. what people, people do. do yes always that's it. always always it's not what people always. say it's what people do always always and that's why I think Jesus says, in that day, thou shalt give an account of every idle word that is spoken. Yes. By thy words, thou shalt be justified. Yes. By thy words, thou shalt be condemned. Because he said, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. And your nay be nay. Yes. What you utter must come to be. 
the second yep. yea is the fulfillment of yep. what is uttered. The yes. yea is the next. So it's not what people say. And so many people yeah, are caught up with the style and the suave mm-hmm. and the charismatic. Mm-hmm. And this is how narcissists thrive yeah. in this world because yes. they know people love the style mm-hmm. and they're led down this path. And then sadly, it's either too late or by yeah. the grace of God, truly, we can come yeah. back and recorrect. And that is the and time that, right now. And that's the beauty of God. You can come back and recorrect at any time. That's, you can. That's right. that's you right. can. It doesn't, as long as you still have breath in you, you can ask for forgiveness. And mm. his grace and mercy will always, is always there. It's always yes. there. But it's up to you. It's up to you. So don't think that you've done so, so bad that that's you right. can't come back. That's don't right. think that you're too you're too holy or anything like that to never do anything wrong. No one is perfect. That's right. No one is perfect. No right. one is perfect. We have, we, this flesh that we come in, that we we're in, it's, it's, it's just bound for sin. It's bound for, for un, unperfection, imperfection. Like yeah. this is just, this is why we're here. We're, we're, when we're, when we're, you know what I'm saying? In, in our different realm, when, when we die and we leave this body, that's when our perfection is. That's but right. when once we're here in this body, we're imperfect. We're imperfect beings. We are. That's why we get the, We came down here because they, we're, we're like, okay, well, because up there, we're not, we can't, we can't taste, we can't love, we can't do any of these things. There's just right. that, like, you don't know what that is. Right. So you're, we're here having this experience to know what love is, to taste, to eat good, to have yes. sex, to yes. love, to, yes. to procreate, yes. to do all of these beautiful things. That's why we're here. And yes. that's why it, they know, like, you, you, we know that we're, we're born in sin. We were born in sin. We know that. That's why mm-hmm. Jesus died for us. And that's why God let Jesus die for our sins. Mm. Jesus was happy to die for our sins because he already knew that we were imperfect in this flesh. But once we get to where, where we came from, assuming that you make it and you don't get lost here, because it's easy to get lost on the, on the journey. It's it's really easy. But at the same time, you just have to understand that, you know, once you go back up there, we get to talk about our experience. You'd be like, Hey, you were black. Were you white or were you black? Like, yeah, like, yeah. I feel, that's yeah. how I look at it. That's, that's right. How I feel, like that's how I imagine being up there. Like we get to talk about our experience when we get back up there. Be like, that's I right. was a woman. What were you a man? Yeah, like yeah. you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> that's like, it. I just, yes. I, I feel like that we get to talk yes. about that. So we we we're here to get that experience, to get that, yes. to get that joy, to get that 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 love, to understand everything. Because you you know in the Old Testament, that's how when they wanted to come down here and and have sex with the women that's why the giants were created right. yeah, and things like right. that so that's you right. understand when so he was like god was like, all right like okay we know y'all want to have sex but you can't do it in this body you yeah, have to go right. down as human to yeah. be able to that, that's just how i look at it that's how i started understanding you know the more and more that i that i read and things like that and i'm like you know what this is this is beautiful and god is just great like this is just so amazing that we're yes. here enjoying this like i I, I told, and I told my friend, I was like, this is my last journey here. I'm not coming back. Right. I'm not coming back. Right. This is it for this me. Is it. This, this is, is it. it. This is, this is my last journey. And this, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to do whatever it is that I need to do to just make sure that I'm sitting up on the right hand, on the right That's side right. of God, right. which, which, you, okay. We're sending who down here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm not coming back. I'm not. So we have to just kind of like, mm. just, just go with the flow. And I, and I know this is my last journey, so I have to do whatever it is that I need to do. But I told him, I was like, you know what? I want to live to 100, at least past 100. I want to be the oldest woman alive. Mm-hmm. Like, I, that. That. I want to break... I want to break the record, but I still want to look like I'm in my 80s at 135. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I love that. Oh, man. That, you know, maybe so. Maybe so. Maybe so, sister. Because I was like, this is my last leg. I, I want to break the world record. Whatever the world record is, for the oldest person alive, I want to break it. Not <laughs> not it. the four hundreds like Matusala and all of them, but oh, the, the the recent records. That's right. But well, you, have you read the um the Unseen Realm no. by Michael Heiser? No, you should read it. I started okay. reading it. So yeah, it's it's really good. It's a really good book. I started, but I okay. just reading with my kids. It's it's really hard, and I, I I've been saying I need to get the the ebook, but I like the physical like yeah, same. The I like the book. I'm a book reader. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And I've never been a I've never been a book reader, <laughs> mm-hmm. but like now I've been finding my 
still consuming like so many books of different things and things like that. But I saw this and I was like, this is really beautiful. It's he, he, he wrote it really well. And mm-hmm. it talks about how, you know, the, like he goes into how the angels came down and things like that and how they were having sex with um, humans and yeah. the giants yeah. and the book of Enoch. And yeah. he goes like, he pretty much has done a lot of research about you know it, how the the wording in the the new bible was how was taken out of context and things yep. like that yep. and stuff like that so it's 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 a really good read but I, I have to finish it but i just keep telling myself i need to finish i need to finish but being consumed and after a long night i'm like yeah i can't because you're gonna about to you're about to go war in your sleep so yes, yeah, right. you gotta get that sleep no i i will i will check that out it's such um it's such a time. Uh, yeah, I could, there's so much, there's so much. I would just love to chat more with you. I, one of oh, the yeah. things I, I want to, um, one of the things I found was so amazing is, and I was reading this last night to these guys is first Corinthians 1552. Mm-hmm. It says, um, it says in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last Trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised and corruptible and we shall be changed. Mm-hmm. And it, I don't think it's an accident that Trump and Pence, Trump. if you say that exactly. together, it's trumpets. Trumpet. It's the trumpet shall sound mm-hmm. that we are hearing mm-hmm. basically the last call on earth. I mean, the mm-hmm. world, the world is, mm-hmm. is crying out for the U S yes. to wake up the world. Mm-hmm. There's more than a million people gathered in Berlin mm-hmm. uh, last or two weeks ago, crying, where we go one we go all queuing on like Mm -hmm. trump you know Mm -hmm. this is it this is the last stand if you don't get it that's it this is on you now this is it Mm -hmm. um i'm so thankful you got it and i'm so thankful you (laughs) shared your story and what a blessing that that your children get to have a mother that is such a a light warrior but just thank you Oh, thank you, sister. I just God thank bless you. you all thank you. Your God family, bless you. Your thoughts and your heart and your home and your and all of, Amen. All of it. All of Amen. It. All, Amen. It's all covered, sister. Amen. All covered. Amen. Thank you. Um, thank last you thing, so last much. thing. I forgot. I forgot. Where can people <laughs> find you? How can they follow you? Uh, oh well, on Instagram, I'm um, at radiant one at radiant underscore one, and on Twitter, I'm uh, at Radiant Warrior on on Instagram. I mean on Twitter. So R A E D I A N T underscore O N E on Instagram and R A E D I A N T Warrior W A R R I O R on Twitter. Beautiful. So I'll put those you- in the show notes and follow <laughs> our amazing sister Rachel. Blessings to <laughs> this. Blessings. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks Bless- for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was so fun. Thank you so much, Lucas. This is, oh, my I, This is down from my book. I was like, I'm on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so great. it's so great. Thank you. Ah, uh, sister Rachel, we <laughs> We could have gone on for a lot longer and we I, we'll have more episodes together. I would love that. I'd be honored to have you on again. And thank you so much for your courage. Thank you so much for your love. You radiate love sister. You radiate light. And that glow stick analogy. That was, that's profound. That's profound. Benjamin Franklin said, instead of cursing the darkness, light a candle, not break a glow stick. Light a candle. And that candle will light an infinite amount of candles. We can keep going. And brothers and sisters, look at yourself as the light. You're the light. You are the light. So light and kindle every other light that may have gone out during this time of COVID confusion, craziness, but also It allows, just like I talked about Genesis 1-2, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light. And I'm saying now, let there be light. Let there be light springing forth from within you, 
let there be a light uttering out of your mouth. Let there be light and her, uh, um, coming out of your eyes. Let there be light in your presence. Let there be light in your relationships. Let there be light. And so it is that where there is light, there is no darkness. And where there is love, there is no fear. And our job is to go inside and say, do I still have fear? Am I fearful? Yeah, I still have some fear. Fear of speaking up, fear of leaving the crowd, fear of going to hell, fear of whatever. Do I still have some fear? Okay, I'm lacking love. Oh, well, where is the origin of that fear? Hmm, who told me that? What created that space? Was it from God? Was it from the infinite source? Was it the one infinite creator? No. Okay, it was man. What were they doing? Where were they can be? You start asking these questions of the inside so that you can crack open wide and from the outside exude love and light. This is why you are here. The human being is here on this planet to exude light. And this is the age of light. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Brothers and sisters, keep going on your personal journey. Look, I am sharing my journey with you. This is not to tell you what to believe. This is not to tell you what to think. This is not to tell you anything other than I desire your highest blessing, your highest good. I desire for humanity to dwell in unity together. And as I say on Instagram, there is no unity without humility. And you know what brings humility? Love. Love melts away the stone. Love washes away the rough areas because love can come like fire or love can come like water. Water cuts through stone. Fire can melt it away. It love, let love do what love wants to do in your life. And I know you will be blessed. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for rating this podcast. Thank you for giving it five-star reviews. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, sisters. Or thank you, sisters, and thank you, brothers. (laughs) Thank you, family. Soul family. Starred seed family. Lightworker family. I bless you. I honor you and I will talk to you on the next episode. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening. For support in your journey, go to my website, lucasmack.com.